dear students now we are going to discuss about ba characteristics of led so what is the aim of this experiment to study the vi characteristics of light emitting diode so led is nothing but light emitting diode so diode is going to emit the light okay so for this we are going to discuss the vi characteristics v is nothing but voltage and i is nothing but current so how the current will respond for the given voltage that part only we are going to discuss in this experiment so next what are the apparatus required for this experiment actually led characteristics board and patch cards okay so in this characteristics board what are the devices present so first one is dc power supply dc power supply then voltmeter to measure the voltage and then ammeter to measure the current and then led so led is nothing but pn junction diode is nothing but pn junction okay so the symbol of pn junction is arrow mark and then line okay so the arrow mark represents p type and the line represents n type so the characteristic board consists of these things dc power supply voltmeter ammeter and then led and then patch cards this is what we need to do the experiment so next we will see what is the circuit diagram required for this experiment so this is the circuit diagram as led is concerned okay for led experiment the pn junction should be forward biased it should be forward biased so what is the meaning of forward biasing so forward biasing is nothing but see here so the pn junction symbol already i said that is the arrow mark and then line arrow mark represents p and the line represents n okay so forward biasing means the positive terminal of the battery should be connected to p type and the negative terminal of the battery should be connected to n type so this is forward biasing so for better understanding please watch the video pn junction forward and reverse biasing i have given the link in the description box so now you will have idea about this forward biasing so forward biasing means battery positive should be connected to p type and a negative should be connected to the n type semiconductor the same thing only this is the battery actually which is nothing but dc power supply dc power supply okay its value ranges from 0 to 3 volts for this experiment it is ranges from 0 to 3 volts okay and then it is connected to the diode pn junction okay pn junction see here this is the positive terminal of the battery which is connected to the p type and the negative terminal of the battery is connected to n type okay so it is forward biased this this part you have to remember and the next already we know that in series resistance should be connected and then ammeter here positive negative so we are going to measure the current in milli ampere okay so a is nothing but ammeter so here only we are going to measure the current which is in the order of or which is uh, which has the unit of milli ampere right and then this is voltmeter voltmeter always connected parallel to the battery so positive terminal negative terminal so v is nothing but voltmeter okay so this is the circuit diagram so now we are going to study the vi characteristics so v we are going to fix that is the known variable for us and the current we are going to measure okay so now let us see the tabular column required for this so only two variables one is voltage and another one is current so now you can understand this tabular column see first column is serial number next one is voltage and the next column will be current so by seeing the board by see by doing that experiment only we have to understand what is the unit so in the board they have mentioned voltage v and the current is milliampere so by seeing the board you have to note down the units properly in the tabular column itself you mentioned the units right already i said the voltage varies from 0 to 3 volts 0 to 3 volts so minimum is 0 and the maximum is 3 volt so how we are going to take the values for every 0 0.25 0 0.25 0 0.5 0 0.75 for every 0 0.25 we are going to take down the values in this experiment so the minimum is 0 and the maximum is 3 in this we are going to measure the current okay so now let us get into the lab to do this experiment 
So let us see the connection part and how to do the experiment. So the apparatus required for this experiment is LED characteristics board and then patch cards. So these two are required to do this experiment. So first let me explain what is there in the board. So in the board we are having voltmeter and then a meter. Here the unit is volt and here the unit is milliampere. Okay. So these two meters are there and this is the power supply for this experiment. 0 to 3 volt. So the max minimum voltage is 0 and the maximum voltage is 3 volt. And then for this voltmeter they have given positive and a negative terminal it is mentioned as meter 1 and this is the ammeter so here it is measured in milliampere it's it is mentioned as m2 and a positive negative terminal for this and this is the circuit already they have given this is the led okay so now how to uh, give the connection as per the circuit diagram let me show the circuit for you so this is the circuit now listen this is the battery eliminator and then here voltage is connected parallel to the battery eliminator and then resistor and then this is the ammeter and then connected to led already we know that led is forward biasing forward biasing means positive of the battery should be connected to positive that is p type semiconductor and a negative of the battery is connected to the n type semiconductor so the same circuit already given here now listen carefully this is the actually this is the power supply and then voltmeter is connected parallel to that and then resistance has given but the resistance is inbuilt in this board okay and then resistance goes to a meter and then a meter goes to LED so already the circuit has given in this board so we have to connect this voltmeter and a meter and then power supply to this connection okay so how to give the connection one by one we will do so first thing is this is the power supply DC power supply from here to give the connection to the circuit so that I have taken the two batch parts okay so the power supply positive goes to positive here and then negative goes to negative here right so battery eliminator has connected here this is the dc power supply okay and then now you see here they mentioned v clearly so v means voltmeter so voltmeter positive negative already here voltmeter this is positive negative so take two more patch cards and give the connection positive of voltmeter goes to v positive okay and then negative of voltmeter goes to v negative that's it this connection is done and next left over is ammeter only so ammeter the same thing take the two patch cord positive of a meter goes to a positive and then negative of a meter goes to a negative okay and then you may think uh, here led already it is connected internally so no need to give any connection over there only these connections you have to give what are the connections we have done till now one is the power supply this is the power supply and then these two are the voltmeter okay and these two are the ammeter only these connections you have to give so totally six patch cords required for this experiment now we have to start doing our experiment so give the connection switch on this board okay now what we are going to measure is vi characteristics so voltage and then current so voltage is the known variable we are going to fix already i said here the voltage variation from 0 to 3 volt so for every 0.25 i am going to take the values so now first you fix 0 0.25 okay first is 0 current is also 0 and then note down the current and the voltage see here this is voltage first is 0 and then current is also 0 now go to 0 0.25 take down the values still the current is 0 only like that for every 0 0.25 we have to take down the current value so here i have increased the current up to 3 the maximum current uh, voltage value is 3 volt up to that we have to change this knob and then adjust the voltage to get the current so if you change like this the current is also increasing so up to 3 volt what is the current so here you can be able to see the led also when i increase this voltage that uh, intensity of the light is also increasing when the voltage is less intensity is less when voltage is high the intensity of the light is also high so this is what your experiment so now we have given the connection as per the circuit diagram and then we have noted the values of voltage and the current so voltage i fixed this is the known variable and the current it is the unknown variable so this is the tabular column we have taken the values so later we can discuss the calculation and the graph for this to write the title for the graph vi characteristics okay and then already we know very well so the known variable should be in the x-axis okay 
so this is x axis and then this is y axis in x axis known variable should be there that is voltage its unit is v and then along this direction and then here current unit is milli ampere right next so we only chosen that that means voltage value should vary every 0.25 so scale how to write the scale x axis one unit is equal to 0.25 volt 0.25 volt this unit same thing you have to write here and then y axis one unit is equal to by seeing the tabular column we can understand it is varying uh, 0.8 to 2 2.3 4 4.0 like that so we can take 1 milli ampere the same unit whatever i have written the same thing it should reflect over here also okay so now by here i will write 0 next 0.25 5 0.75 sorry 0 0.75 and then 1 1.25 like that it is keep on varying up to 3 maximum is 3 right and then here 1 milliampere 2 milliampere 3 milliampere 4 actually we have seen it is varying up to 9 right 6 7 8 right so these are the points we are going to take now already we saw that up to 1.5 the value is 0 only once again i will show the value so that you will get the idea to draw the graph see up to 1.5 1.25 we are getting the 0 only so uh, around 1.25 only we have to plot 1 0 0.8 so now how to draw the graph check it out up to 1 it is 0 only so we have to draw i will take other color Zero point seven five zero. Next, it starts zero point eight, and then uh, like this, right? After that, slowly it increases at one point. In increases rapidly. So in this way, you will get your graph. Okay, by seeing the diagram, you can understand. So in this way, we will get the graph. Now see here one one point two five. After that, the graph increases rapidly. That means the current value increases rapidly. So from this graph, what we can say 0 to 1.25, there is no change in the current. Once it crosses particular voltage, then the current increases rapidly. Okay, at a particular voltage, the current starts increasing rapidly. That voltage is called, for example, in this picture, from this point, the current increases rapidly. Here, slowly increased. Okay, but here and onwards, very rapid increment. So this voltage is there. No? For example, here it is 1.5. So at this particular voltage this is the voltage in x-axis we have taken voltage at the particular voltage the current increases rapidly that particular voltage is called threshold voltage what is the name for that threshold voltage so in the result you have to mention this voltage also so threshold voltage is equal to 1.5 volt for the led for the particular LED, we have taken 1.5 volt. So, in this way, you have to draw the graph. So, from the graph, we are going to find only the threshold voltage that is 1.5 volt. And moreover, what we observed in this experiment from 0 to 1.1, 1 1.25, 1 there is no change in the current. Even though we are increasing the voltage, there is no change in the current. The current is not at all increasing. But after 1.25, the current starts slowly increasing. Afterwards, it increases rapidly. So, this is the main characteristics we observed for the LED. So, at a particular voltage, the increment is in, uh, going rapidly. That voltage is called a threshold voltage. Its value is 1.5 volt. So, how we have to write the result? result part. Now, our experiment is over. So, directly we have to write down our result. So result, what we studied VI characteristics, okay, what aim, what is the aim to study the VI characteristics of LED, the same time, same sentence we are going to write, what is that, the VI characteristics, VI characteristics of 
LED is studied. Okay, is studied. Studied and threshold voltage is equal to threshold voltage is equal to 1.5 volt. 1.5 volt. Okay. So, in this way, you have to write your result. Okay. And one more original graph also I attached at the end of this video for your understanding. Okay. See this graph. This is the original graph I wanted to show to you people. Thank you.